how to get jobs, when can I start teaching my own class, how to make money, how to improve my skills, how to be recognized for my skills, how to be talent spotted. This is Chris. So Chris, tell us, uh, when did you complete your k pop instructor's course? Uh, I completed end of March, 28 March. And then, now three weeks later, you are already on stage co-leading. Do you have any like teaching experience before you join k pop Fitness? Uh, no, this is my first instructor course. Have you done k pop Fitness before you join instructor's course? Yeah, on and yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. Little bit, huh? So what's your secrets to co-lead so fast? Just three weeks only. Well, uh, first of all, it is the motto is just do it. Just do it. Yes, but of course behind it, you've got to put in some hard work. Uh. So, uh, so when before I come to the to the session, I make sure I practice a lot. So, like what the instructor says, uh, you know, have the video at the side and have full length mirror and practice. So I practice every night. Uh, I, I go to the kpopxonline.com to look at the trainer's video and also the tutorial. If I look at the tutorial first, then the trainer's video. Very good. And then, did anyone give you special privilege or opportunities? To lead on the stage? Uh, no, because I thought that you know after attending the course, the course we shouldn't uh, waste it. So I uh, requested to join the session. Actually, you sign up and pay so for and pay, yes. also, uh, that has a stage that you I can guess. shadow. Yes, that and I can learn more. Yeah, uh, volunteer for it. You volunteer for co lead. Yes, I ask for it and have fun. Do you have any goal for the future? Well, I hope to one day be able to teach a small class of my own part time. Yeah. All right, well done. Good job. Thank you. She is already a K-pop X instructor. She lives in overseas for some time and came back to Singapore. Don't know anybody, yet she can become a PA trainer really fast and find jobs very fast during, just after the COVID time too, you know. Now, how did you do it? First of all, I came to Medis class. From Medis class, I got to know other instructors. And then from the instructors, I started to build my network with them. And then I also so-called uh, shadowed in one of the charity events. And I also quoted two songs from there and from there I also got to know other instructors as well. So, and then they give you the lobang? Yeah, some of them helped me on the so-called PA training, but they just gave me the link. I need to do the action. Yeah, uh, yeah. Yes. So how, how do you become a PA trainer? I applied because like, like I said, my friend gave me a lobang. So I applied and then I got to know that in order to become a PA trainer, you need to have experience at least two years. Yes, actually you could just go to PA website or just Google PA trainer and then download the application form. Now how do you reach out to the studio owners and get jobs? So before I reach out to the studio owner, of course I need to make my homework. So first of all, I need to get my first aid done. After that, I need to get my assessment done. Then after that, I came in actually, I first I got to know that I need to prepare my fitness resume. I prepare my resume, I prepare my cert, everything. And then uh, I search like a normal job hunt, I search internet and then I look out for studio, I email them and then sometimes I did call them so even when they want to so called meet me, I also even go and meet them as for the yeah, studio. I did a trial class first before they engage me actually okay, so well done finding a job so fast and being so proactive yeah now just to clarify, if you were to get if the studio owner hire you, you don't have to do assessment with Danzi Fitness you did the assessment to get the reassurance, right? Which is a good thing, lah. But of course, now she get the assessment from Danzi Fitness, she can also get jobs from Danzi Fitness, right? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Pew, pew.